Welcome to Undertale's Draw My Life. Before starting, we have a brief notice. Undertale is a game that must be played without known details about its story. So we recommend that you live your own gaming experience before watching this video. Many years ago, the world was divided into two races, the humans and the monsters. The soul of humans was much more powerful than that of the monsters. But many legends predicted that if a monster absorbed the soul of a human, it would obtain incalculable power capable of destroying any race. The fear that this would happen forced humans to provoke a bloody war that resulted in an overwhelming victory of humanity. The terrifying beings were expelled from the surface. Exiled to the underground and locked up thanks to a magical barrier imposed by humans. Centuries later, a legend begins to emerge. Everyone who climbs Mount Abbott never returns. Precisely on Mount Abbott begins the adventure of Undertale. When our protagonist, Frisk, falls through an abyss and wakes up underground. Frisk must destroy the magic barrier located in King Asko's castle. But throughout their epic, they discover that their mission is the same as Ascor's. That they need seven human souls to be able to break the barrier and free the monsters. Well, the rest of the story, we let you discover it yourself. Where does this game come from, and why has it caused so much rage among critics and players? This role-playing video game was developed by Toby Fox with Game Maker Studio, and was released on September 15, 2015 for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Days before it could be downloaded, among the recommended requirements to play Undertale, very absurd data came out. Windows 19 million operating system. Our processor fast enough to play 9,000 songs per second. 999 gigabytes of RAM. Or a sound card that lets you play music like a live orchestra. Before its release, the game was going to last 2 hours and 15 minutes. But the success of a previous campaign forced Toby Fox to increase the duration up to 6 hours. This, of course, delayed the release date a whole year. Let's now meet some of the main characters of the game. Frisk is the protagonist and it's not clear what their gender is. In fact, their name is not revealed until the end, and the monsters refer to them as the human. Like Frisk, we will have to continually make decisions during our adventure. And all of them will have consequences in the development of the story. As soon as we start our adventure, we run into Floy, a yellow flower that speaks. Under innocent pretenses hides a cruel and ruthless beast that will always know what we have done in the game. Even if we delete the game, Floy will notice, and the game will not start normally. Then we will meet Toriel, an anthropomorphic girl guardian of the rooms in which Frisk falls into. She will help us to know the basics of the game and the battle system. She acts as a mother figure towards Frisk and keeps a certain relationship with Asgore, which we will discover during the game. Silence and Papyrus are a duo of endearing skeletons. These brothers have a pretty black humor, and their names come from the fonts Comic Sans and Papyrus, which also appear when they speak. Behind Sans' carefree attitude, one of the deepest and most important characters in the game is found. Later, we will also meet Napstabuk, a melancholic ghost, a yellow lizard named Alphys, the powerful and peculiar undying that the robot names Metaton, Buffett the Queen of Spiders, even a doggy that represents the creator of the game Toby Fox. One of the most original details of Undertale is that his characters occasionally speak directly to the player and are aware of the games previously played, thus skipping the fourth wall and giving this video game a completely new dimension. Another of the strengths of Undertale is its combat system. Each opponent has a different behavior, and we must understand them to avoid their attacks, talk to them, and forgive them or destroy them by attacking their weak points. Player decisions will have a radical impact on the end of the game, resulting in multiple endings grouped into three routes. Pacifist, if we pass the game without harming any monsters. Genocidal, being bloodthirsty and ruthless, eliminating all the monsters we cross. And a mixture of both, which is neutral. If after completing the game with one of the three routes, you start the game again, this will be taken into account, modifying the original story. Only by completely uninstalling Undertale and deleting all hidden files is when we can start it from scratch. If you have not begun to live your own story of Undertale, this is the moment. How are you going to play it? And this has been the Draw My Life of Undertale. If you liked it, give it a like and share it. And comment with what you want our next Draw My Life to be.